Hello everybody. We are here today for lunch um, at a place we've been to once before. Uh, it is called Riptide's Raw Bar and Grill. And of course the bar in that name, a raw bar, is a place where they have oysters and crab legs and scallops and things like that. So this is a seafood type place where they have a lot of other good options as well. And really enjoyed our visit here last time. Since we're back in the area, we decided to give it another shot. So uh, we're gonna go on inside and let you know how it goes and hopefully it'll be as good as it was before. So stay tuned. Okay, here's the inside of Riptides. We were gonna sit out front, but only a few tables were under a fan and- uh, It's supposed to get up to 95 today. Yeah, it's supposed to be high of 95. It's already about there. It's noon. So it was kind of miserable outside. So we just decided to come on in and sit in the air conditioner. So looking back across the restaurant, this is the inside of it. And we are at Riptide's uh, Raw Oyster Bar and Grill, I think is what it's called. Um, here's the menu. Been here one time before. It was uh, Christmas of 2019, I think. Okay. We sat outside then. It was kind of, she thought it was cool. I thought it was very nice. And I already know what I'm getting because it was so good last time. I'm going to get it again. Flip that over. Although I see a couple other things that look sound good. That may pour garlic shrimp pasta in the top right sounds very good. But that's not what I'm gonna get. Yet is the riblets. Uh, it's kind of an interesting thing. I don't even see it on. Please tell me it's still on there. It's the very last thing at the bottom. Down here? Okay. Yeah, the rip and riblet dinner. Those are like miniature barbecue ribs. I don't know how to explain it, but very flavorful, very tender. I got those last time and they were good enough. I'm going to try them again. So have you have you decided what you're gonna get yet? Decisions, decisions. What did you get last time? You got a pineapple on a burger last time. I did. Well, since Salty Dogs disappointed you, y'all yeah. try. Well, I ain't tell you. Yeah, get, get whatever you want. I know they had that. I was kind of just trying to decide. They had the hurricane mac and cheese. I thought that sounded good. Buffalo Alfredo sauce with fried chicken. Yeah. Where was the one you said had uh, lobster and lobster mac and cheese? Seafood mac and cheese. That sounds good too. Okay, so you're still between a couple. Um, of... Yeah, and then they got the chicken um, down here. I think that's got pineapple on the shuby chicken. Shuby chicken. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna make our decision. Okay. Well, I ordered the. Um, no, you go ahead and tell them what you ordered first. The seafood mac and cheese. I don't even remember what was all in it. A bunch of seafood. I, think, I know it had shrimp, crab, maybe lobster. Yeah. And it's a creamy sauce. So creamy sauce. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Can I have a bite of it when you get it? All right. Tell us what you got. I got the riblet dinner again. Uh, that was very good. The only other time we've ever been here. And it was good enough for me to try it again. So... I hope it's not like sometimes where you get something that's really good one time, the next time you go back it's not as good. Uh, but I'm going with it again. They were very flavorful, uh, very tender. You get a pound and a half of them too. Yeah, yeah, but they're like fall off the bone tender. So um, I remember liking it last time. Instead of the uh, potato that comes with it, I, I got the, uh, what was it called, fried, fried sweet plantains. Yeah. So, hopefully those will be good. Hopefully they'll be sweet. I got fried plantains one other place and they had no taste to them at all. But this says these are sweet, so. And coleslaw. Always gotta get coleslaw. I've had coleslaw all week. Never have too much of that. But anyway, that's what I got, so we'll see how it is. And we've got a humongous screen over here showing us some very pretty wave footage from various beaches in the world. I love big waves on the beach. Uh, 
if y'all remember how excited I was last year on Siesta Key when the hurricane came in. I mean, those, even the waves then, they were nice, but they weren't anything like what this is showing. I, I have a fascination with big ocean waves. One of my goals is to go to Hawaii in the wintertime and drive up to the northern part of, uh, I think it's Oahu, where the waves get really, really big that time of year. So that's going to be on the agenda. Not anytime soon, but eventually. Eventually. Yeah. So, look at, Yesterday. Look at that wave there. You know, when we got out in the ocean, it's like the waves were kind of crossed, and the current was so strong. Yeah, uh, it was we got over Stand here yesterday. In. It was it was a day's work just trying to walk around in that. There was such a strong undertow. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't like when you walk out, it just gradually got deeper. You'd step into a hole, then you'd step back up, then you'd step into another crevice. Yeah. It's kind of it was a hard it was hard work. We'd turn around five minutes later and find ourselves we were thirty feet down from where our stuff's at. So, I just need to sit on the beach. <laughs> yeah, I went ahead and went back and got in the pool. Didn't have as much trouble in the pool. But I did want to come out and show the outside seating area. There are people out here, but uh, all those people are by a fan. Now, right there is the table we asked for, and we were told we couldn't have that table. I don't know why they got it, because it was right under a fan, but we were told we couldn't sit in that section. Here is Highway A1A. This is looking south from Ormond Beach to Daytona Beach. Well, you know the table we couldn't have underneath the van? Somebody else got it. Yeah, yeah, I just went out there. Somebody sitting at it. I don't blame them. That's one we wanted, but remember, we were told we couldn't sit in that section. That section was closed. So that Anyway, that's still not as bad. You remember what the guy told us when we went to Joe's Crab Shack down in Daytona Beach several years ago? We haven't been back because of this. That was reserved for like special guests. Yes, yeah, for special guests. Uh, we went in. We wanted a seat outside right over the water. And the guy flat told us, says, no, that's for special guests. I could not. I have never been had anything like that told to me in my life. So we just tucked our tails and went and sat down inside. And... <laughs> Hadn't been yeah, back. I, I don't know exactly what he was naming. I don't know either, but that was not the way you word that. Mm -hmm. Special yeah, guest. So, uh, but, um, all right, thank you. And I will say that night, the waiter flat out ignored us. There was a couple. I guess they were special. They did get to sit out there. It wasn't a couple. It was like a, it was actually a group of about 10. Yeah. They and, had a lot of special treats. Yeah, they were, they were, they were all ordering alcohol. And he, he basically would go by us to get to them. And we could sit there and need a drink or full. So I'll just go ahead and tell you this. I, we have not been to Joe's Crab Shack in Daytona Beach since and don't ever plan to go back. So I, I wrote a nice review. That was probably maybe 2019 or 2020. I don't remember. Oh, it's been a while. It's been longer than that. Oh, really? It may have been 2017 or 2018. But yeah. I, wrote, I wrote a review on TripAdvisor over that. Yeah. Uh, but my TripAdvisor is Smoky Mountain Man 6643, by the way. Yeah, maybe it's changed, but. Well, our food just come out. There are my riblets with the plantain and the coleslaw. And there's her seafood macaroni and cheese. That's a really good portion. Uh, yeah, it is. See the shrimp? Yeah. And that's that's a decent portion there, too. So, yeah. boy, those ribs smell good. So, go ahead and take a bite of that. Uh, tell us what you think of the... Uh, Seafood macaroni and cheese. I think it's very good. Very good. Yeah. Can you taste the crab and the lobster? I can. And everything else that's supposed to be in it? Yep. Alright, we're gonna see how Derek's ribs are. They're very hot. Be careful. Yeah. The crab lunch looks pretty good today. Outstanding. Are they? I wonder how those plantains are. They gave you a good shot of those. I didn't even open my fork up yet. So. Yeah, let's sit there sweet. I got these at what, Beaches, wasn't it? In St. Yeah. Augustine mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. They had no taste at all, so let's see if these have a flavor to them. I mean, 
They're not sweet. You can just taste the banana. I thought maybe they'd have cinnamon added to them. They're good. They're, I like the crispiness on the outside. They kind so of not got, like a Brazilian steakhouse sweet? No, I actually am starting to taste the banana a little bit now, though. So I would rate these above the ones at Beaches. But I thought maybe they would add something like cinnamon sugar on it. I don't think they have that. But no. I do like the texture of them. They kind of got a little bit of crispy edges to them. Uh -huh. And I like stuff like that. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't regret getting these. Okay. All right. There's our total for two. Um, I'll tell you what. Mine had all the delicious seafood. Yours was good. Yeah, and they gave you a very generous portion. Yes, they did. Uh, balance $48.99. So, all right. We're going to go outside and give our final review now. Okay. Just finished up here at Riptide's um, Grill. And... We're out here now, wanting to give our final thoughts on the place. Um, this is our second visit here. We came uh, around Christmas week of 2019. That was our other visit here. It was a little cooler then, we sat outside. I thought it was very pleasant that day. Uh, but we sat inside today because it is, it is hot here it today. It is really hot. And humid. So why don't you start it off, tell what you got, and give your impressions. So I got the seafood mac and cheese. Um, they did give me a large plate bowl of it um it was very good the noodles were very tender they were soft uh, several pieces of shrimp in there which i can remember everything i know they had i think crab meat very you saw a lot of uh, clumps of crab i think it did actually had lobster in it too I think it did. but um very creamy very good i mean i was very pleased with my meal yeah she couldn't finish hers they gave her a really really good portion yeah. uh, they were generous there um mm -hmm. i ended up having to finish hers um, just a couple of bites, but anyway, it was it was actually very good. So I can say that uh, it, it was. was a good meal. Uh, I got the riblet meal, which is the same as I got last time. Now, to be honest with you, it's a little different than the way I remember it. Uh, you think the word riblet would imply like miniature or small, and it, but that's how I remember them being. I think they have changed. He did. The, our waiter did actually say they changed some things on the menu, but um, I'll come back to the ribs and give you my impressions of those. I got the fried plantains. It actually said on the menu fried sweet plantains or sweet fried plantains. Um, that's the second time I've ever gotten that in a restaurant. The first time I got them, I didn't care for them because they just weren't sweet. These actually, I don't know, I thought the name implied they might have put a little sugar or cinnamon on them. I think that would have made them really good, even better, but they, they didn't. But they were still good. I, I liked the around the edges where they fried them. It was a crunchy texture. I really did like that. And the plantains themselves had some uh, sweet sweetness to them, unlike the other ones I had in another place. Um, so, yeah, they were good. I think they could probably be made a little better with some cinnamon and sugar on top, but they were still very good. I don't regret getting them. The coleslaw was good. Um, it was basically identical if you've ever been to the Starfish Company or seen our reviews. I think they do coleslaw exactly the same way. I could not tell any difference in the two coleslaws. It was good. <clears throat> The ribs, coming back to those, they were different than I remember them. Um, I do remember them being smaller ribs, but they were not a letdown the second time around. They were just as good. Uh, these look more like a regular size rack, uh, rack of ribs or half rack, whatever it was, but very good, very tender, very flavorful. Uh, I would definitely get that again if I came here. Um, if you find something that you really like, might as well go with it. So even though they were different than I remember, they certainly were not any less uh, flavorful um, and any less quality. So uh, very satisfied with Riptides today. It's located right here on A1A in Ormond Beach, Florida. And I would encourage you to give this place a try if you're in the area. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. All right, have a blessed day.